Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and all the news in details. Breaking, seven feared dead as a Amorteku who ate men clash in Oyo State. The commander of Amorteku in Oyo State, Colonel Olayinka Olayonju, when contacted, said he was on his way to the place to ascertain what happened. Men of the Oyo State Security Network Agency popularly known as Operation Amortekun, and some Fulani have reportedly engaged in a clash at Ayete in Ibarakwa, not local government area of the state. The clash was said to have started at Okebi village on Saturday morning, but the cause of the clash could not be immediately ascertained as of the time of filing this report. Saliu, who claims to be a resident of the area, told Punch that seven persons have been killed. He added that about seven houses were also raised. Salil said Al Hagi Usman Okebi and his two sons were killed. We don't know what caused the fight. Some persons were shot and injured. The number of people killed has increased to seven. Those who were shot and ran away later died in the bush. Another source said the clash was between the Amoteku Corps and Bororo people. He said some persons were killed but could not tell which suffered heavier casualties. The commandant of Amoteku in Oyo State, Kone Olayinke, Olayinka, Olayinju, Olayinju, when contacted, said he was on his way to the place to ascertain what happened. He said, I heard the same thing, and I am on my way there right now. The police public relations officers in the state, Mr. Olubenga Fadeyi, when contacted by Punch, said the DPO at Ayetel Police Division had moved to their community to assess the situation. Well, may God help us from these people. You know, these killings of his stuff is nothing to write home about, you know. This is not a good thing to start hearing uh, people dying, in, especially at this, uh, at this time of New Year. You know, it is just too early for that. Uh, 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 that's not a good thing at all. And then why is it that uh, uh, the Amorteku people are being, uh, 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 are being scared of these people? Because definitely, why do we have the Amorteku when they cannot do their work the way they are supposed to do it? And I feel that the Amorteku people should not give any space at all this time around. Because this, uh, uh, what is it called? This headsmen, the Fulani headsmen, they are so wicked, they are so hard, hardamant. They are, they are full of all these evil emanations. And that is the reason why Amoteku should not relent, should not give up. They shouldn't allow their people to be killed like a chicken. Amoteku should press on and ride the southwest of killer headsmen. They should not give any little space at all because the Fulani headsmen, they are full of evil havoc. May God help us. In fact, we are tired of all these people, this Fulani, or whatever we call themselves. Whether Bororo or Killer Hetman, the Amoteku force should not recede, recede. They should not give up. Enough of all these things that we are talking about. Enough of all these killings. And that is the reason why many people, many people from Igbo land, many people from Yoruba land are saying that these Fulani people that are living in the bush, they should leave the bush. And come to the community whereby people will monitor them and people will see them. They are not saying that they should not live among other people, other human beings, but they are saying that them staying at the bush has a, a negative effect to their innocent people. But then they prefer to live in the bush. May God help us. This is not a good thing, and it's just so unfortunate that. Uh, our president, the leaders are not doing anything about it. The freedom that they are giving these Fulani people, especially the Boko Haram and all them, is just too much. The freedom is too much. How can they be killing innocent people like a chicken? You can imagine, just like that, seven people there died on the spot. Eh? Some people died. They said that uh, uh, Al Haji used Manokebi and his two sons were killed. Come on, we are not animal for God's sake. 
We are not animals. Enough of all these killings. And now, this is a new year for God's sake. This is new year. We are not supposed to be hearing all this bad news about killing people dying left and right. Enough of all these killings. People are tired of it. People are tired of let's just for one day hear good things about Nigerians. For one day like this, let's hear for one day that nobody died. That is just what we are expecting to hear. But the reverse is the case. May God help us. This is not a good thing at all. May God help us. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We'll say God bless you. And if you're here to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't, don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news. And it's a many day. God bless you for all that's been there for us at all time. God bless you. Stay safe at this crucial time. That is very important to you, Hemi. Have a lovely day once again. Bye.